Association. I'd like to invite Brandy to come up now. From the, she's the executive director and CEO of the Kansas Cattlemen's Association, another organization that recognizes the intrinsic value, the inherent value of maintaining small business operations in rural America and the need to recognize the unique characteristics of those small businesses and the unique needs of those small businesses as they compete in an environment where big agribusiness essentially has a free reign and has had a free reign during the last 30 years. So, Brandy, thank you. Good afternoon, and thank you so much for having us. Um, as Bill and Mike and Mike had said, um, I am Brandy Carter. I represent the Kansas Cattlemen's Association. And what is so nice to have today is so many faces that I do recognize here. Um, many of you know Mike Schultz actually was a key founder, Mike Calicrate as well, with the Kansas Cattlemen's Association just uh, 12 years ago. We've had a little restructuring, but the fact of the matter is the Kansas Cattlemen's Association is here because we support you, Mike. We understand that you are a great business here for St. Francis. You have so much to offer this community. And yet, if we do not keep businesses like you, then we are going to lose this community. We will lose all of these people to eastern Kansas, to Nebraska. We want to keep our farms and our rural communities alive. That is what the KCA does. And we do that by going to Washington, by going to Topeka, and telling these legislators that the policies they are making, the regulatory agencies that they're making, they're wrong. A lot of the agencies that are making regulations these days have no foundation when it comes to farmers and ranchers. They don't know what it's like. They come from Topeka. They come from Kansas City. They don't know. The EPA district, District 9, they're out of Kansas City. We do have one farmer rancher from Ellsworth who is there now, and we're hoping that he'll make a difference. But the fact of the matter is, we need people like you to stay in the community. We need people like you to create that foundation. There's morals and there's values that come from cattlemen, from farmers, and from ranchers that you don't see in the city anymore. And if we do not teach our children that, where are we for the future? And that's part of what KCA does. And we are here also, and Mike and Bill mentioned, you know, we've got some gypsum rules coming up. And there is someone who's going to be talking a little more about that. But the foundation of the Kansas Cattlemen's Association was founded on the fact that we need more competition. If we do not have farmers and ranchers, what's going to happen? If we have fewer packers, what's going to happen? If 88% of our beef is controlled by those four packers, what is going to happen to us? We're all here together to stand strong, and that's what we want to do today. When it comes to competition, we listen to producers. We are not like other organizations. We are the only Kansas organization that completely and solely represents people like you, independent cattlemen. We do not support any corporate agencies. We do not support the Packers. We do not support big business. We support the local farmers, the small independent businesses who come together to make this foundation. When it comes to competition, we need you. We need to hear what you have to say. And with the EPA, they're coming in with the small businesses. You know, and unfortunately what we're finding is there is more of a publicity stunt than there is actual um, need for this. And am I not right to say there's no pollution going on here? None whatsoever. So why are they here? That is the question. Why aren't they 10 miles down the road looking at somebody else who might be uh, polluting that we know is not a steward of the environment? Those people have to be accountable, but people like Mike who are doing the right thing, you know, there's targets out there, and, and we don't need to support those big companies. We need to support people like you. Um, other things the EPA has been doing is, you know, they overregulate our air, our air quality. I am actually from Eastern Kansas. Sorry, guys, but um, when we go and we burn our fields, EPA is telling us we can't do that because we're polluting Kansas City. Now I don't know about you, but the factories are polluting Kansas City too. But I don't see them being regulated. 
So we really need to tell these people and stand up and let them know that we're here, that we're going to fight back, and we're going to protect our rural communities. The Calicrate Bander, how many people do you employ, Mike? 40. 40 people. We have 40 jobs right here in St. Francis. If we lose Seed Yard, if we lose the Bander, what's going to happen to St. Francis? Pretty big business for a small community. When we talk about the Department of Transportation, we're also seeing overregulation. They were looking to actually require a CDL license for everyone who uses farm equipment, a tractor, a combine. Do you want to go in that? How is that going to affect your inputs? The Kansas Cattlemen's Association addressed that this year. We talked to the Department of Transportation. We're completely in Topeka fighting on these issues. I'm going to let Don Teske talk more about the gypsum rule, but I just want to let you know that we all need to stand together. That's why we're here. We have to stand together because if we don't, they're going to pick us off one by one. So if you are a member of the Kansas Cattlemen's Association, I just want to reiterate that we are working really hard for you. Kelsey Gibson um, is in the young lady in the magenta shirt. She's here. Uh, we want to hear from you about the issues because we work for you. We're not like those other organizations. What they do is their CEO and their staff go into a conference room, they decide what issues they're going to work on, and they wonder who they're getting their money from. They work on those issues. What we do is we come to events like this and we ask you, how do you feel about the EPA? Have you been targeted by the EPA? Has the Department of Transportation, the Highway Patrol, come after you? Why? Let us know. We are always here for you. And we want you to know that we will work on those issues. Some things you just can't do alone. And the Kansas Cattlemen's Association is here to make sure that you are protected, that your rights are protected, and that your families are protected for the next generation. Thank you.